All right, so we here in Arturo's garage. Uh, you guys have never met him, but we're gonna start doing more content with his 370. Yes. Don't look at it now, it has my bra off. I've been Anyways. spending like, maybe, I've been on this for three hours and it's taken me a while just because I've never done it before. It's but. a Nissan, come on, yeah. it's complicated. <laughs> anyway, so he already took off the stocking air intakes. Right now we're installing or attempt to install Z1 Air and race. Yeah. Cold air intakes. So we'll and see I just found goes. out I have to remove the crash bar and modify it to yeah. where these two fit here. Yeah. And that requires welding. As and you can see, metal. these are really fat. So Look. oh. Well, there you go. That'll work. I hope. So you're installing these. You gotta put the washers on the bottom first. I'm just doing whatever they told me to do. Wait, sure you goes on the bottom? Yes. And then one goes on top. And then it has a washer on the screw already. So uh, damn, I'm at five percent. I might have to use the phone. I'm just gonna wait until this battery dies. It literally just came from multi dash. It scares me to fuck around with the frame. It's not frame. This is a crash bar. So, never mind, scratch that. Make sure you put the wash, I guess the washers on the screws. And then tighten. I don't know, the instructions aren't really specific. Hey bro. Gracious. Of course. You know I need those Ekis while I'm here. I need bottle opener. Crap. I never seen this before in air intake. This thing's heavy too. I think it's metal. Oh really? What you got? I mean I guess. Whatever. Battery. Alright, so this is how that it looks. Part? Thank you. I never seen anything like that, so it looks pretty cool. I don't even know how to... Oh yeah, so we got the bash bar out. And he's gonna be running without a bash bar for no, I'm not. That's dangerous. Don't ever do that. Yeah. Never. Have full I know coverage. basically, I don't know if I showed this earlier, but basically that's what it looks like right now. Just like this. And so we had to cut wait. right here like like this. Yeah, like angle. It has to look like that. Yeah. And it tells you the instructions basically. Yeah. But I didn't know before buying. So yeah. read the so, print. Yeah. For before installing them. Make sure you have that cut out, right? And then, and you can install them. All right, so we got the couplers into the throttle bodies. Make sure these are tightened now. So we got the tubing in. We got this tube in. I forgot what this this one was called. Um, but now next, we need to install the, the sensor, mass sensor, and then the tubing, and then run the air filters out. So it should be good. That's really it. So in order to get these hose, it's really, these hose? It's, it's flexible, so uh, we'd have to take off that adapter and that's it's in there. freaking annoying. And like you said, it's freaking annoying. And that's really it. I don't know if it comes off from that side too, does it? Oh yeah, it does. So yeah, we have to take off that adapter and then run these hose through there. So we have these tubings in. I've eaten it! And they're pretty good because they fit through this <laughs> hole, so they flex a lot. Um, but we got this side in basically. We've been waiting everything. We're waiting to install everything before we tighten it down. And after installing the air intakes, we tighten everything up. So keep you guys updated. Ooh, tighten, tighten harder. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we got zip tied. We had to zip tie them together because uh, we need to cut the bash bar. So we just zip tied these. Wait. What? No, I'm just making sure it doesn't say to zip tie? Nah. To zip tie? So we got everything together. Now we just need to tighten everything and then. Making sure that like it looks good, you know? Yeah. And then start it up. It should be good. Uh, Moment of truth. Hit it. Does he know how to start it? Oh.
gonna close this out before my battery dies. Um, but if you guys paid attention, I do have the same outfit as I did on ATB, uh, all team bash. If you guys don't know, don't know what that is. Um, but I did have a great day. The air intake installment went pretty good. It sounds pretty good. Um, the only thing that we miss is that uh, he did have to do some modifications to the bash bar, which he had to cut out where the air filters sit. Anybody can do that. You can take that to a muffler shop or anybody that cuts or welds. But in that case, like I said, I'm gonna keep this short. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I'll be coming out with a little more videos later in the future. But in that case, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.